Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now you're watching our video review of the Nokia Lumia 810 for T-Mobile. It's an upcoming Windows Phone 8 device for them. It's one of their very first. Now compared to the Lumia 920 over on at t it might not be a stack when it comes to the hardware, but it's still getting a decent entry-level Windows Phone 8 handset. It features a 4.3 inch WVJ clear black AMOLED display there. You have a dual core processor and also an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with Carl Zeiss optics. There's nothing too exciting about the design, the Lumia A10, and overall it's rather boring. Uh, it doesn't look like a Lumia handset per se, just because it's a little bit more boxy. And considering it has a 4.3 inch display, it does feel rather wide in the hand. The construction's decent, it's not the best we've seen. We do appreciate the soft touch coating it has around the rear, just because it gives it a very clean appearance. But overall, it's rather bland. Interestingly enough, the Lumia A10 features display similar to the one that was found on the uh, Lumia 900 from earlier in the year. 4.3 inch clear black AMOLED display in there with WVJ resolution, so that's 480 by 800 pixels. It's not the highest resolution that we've seen out there, and it definitely shows in things like the web browser. From a zoomed out view, it's still a little bit indistinguishable with fine text, but of course, pinch gestures remedy that. And seeing that it is AMOLED panel, the thing that really stands out is of course the good viewing angles, the overly saturated colors has to offer but as far as outdoor visibility though it kind of washes out Naturally, it's sporting the usual trio windows capacitor buttons. They're spaced far away from the edges to reduce accidental presses. Meanwhile, above the dis display, you have the earpiece, the front-facing 1.2 megapixel camera, which has the ability to shoot videos in 720p. Taking a quick peek around the handset's trim, we find all the usual suspect of characters. You got the volume controls, dedicated power button, and the shutter key on the right edge. They're raised and have really good springy responses. At the bottom, we have the micro USB port for charging data connectivity, the speaker, and the microphone. The left edge is completely clean, while up top you have only a 3.5mm headset jack and a noise cancelling mic. So even though the handset isn't attached with the PureView name, it's still packing a very nice above average camera in the rear. It's an 8 megapixel autofocus camera which features Carl Zeiss optics, an f2.2 lens, dual LED flash, and the ability to shoot 1080p videos. So we're not going to go into great detail about the platform experience here on the Lumia A10 just because it's just like any other Windows Phone 8 handset we checked out of late. Like the HTC 8X, the uh, Samsung 8 S, and even the uh, Lumia 920, it follows in form. We definitely like the uh, dynamic approach of the start screen here at the live tiles. It's very flashy. It has uh, you know a lot of uh, eye candy to it, but there's still some improvements needed like a general place where you could access all your notifications. Luckily, the Lumia A10 isn't a slouch when it comes to the processing department just because uh, for an entry-level handset, it's packing a respectable processor in the uh, dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor with 1 GB of RAM. So essentially, that translates to a very snappy response with pretty much all operations, whether it be opening up applications, pinch zooming, even surfing the web. It's pretty much effective in getting the job done. With its 4.3 inch display, of course, it's going to be good enough for typing up messages and seeing that we have the typical Windows phone keyboard here, it's exceptional in the fact that it's very responsive, spacious layout, and has a really good autocorrect feature. Unlike its LTE sibling in the Lumia A20, the Lumia A10 here has nothing more than HSP Plus connectivity. Still pretty fast when it comes to page loads, and of course with Internet Explorer you're going to get a great experience in surfing the web just because you have some fluid navigational control, fast page loads, and proper rendering, so you really can't go wrong with it. Well, there's nothing different with the music player here on the Lumia A10, your typical Windows Phone 8 fanfare, nice, very appealing looking uh, UI. As far as the uh, audio quality with the speaker, though, we gotta say it tends to be overly sharp, so it does kind of strength the loudest volume setting. Part of the reason why Nokia's Windows Phone stand out is the fact that it has some added benefits with the software experience. So on top of the Windows Phone 8 typical experience, you have the Nokia applications like City Lens, Drive, Maps, Music, and Transit all available with the device. So even though the Lumia A10 doesn't feature an HD display, the video watching experience is still excellent thanks to the clear black AMOLED display on here. So the video wave here is encoded in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution. So 1080p, you could tell, moving swiftly with its playback, and even though the resolution is not as high as we'd like, it doesn't really factor into watching videos. You still have some great saturated looking colors to make it very compelling. 
As we mentioned early on, the handset isn't a slouch in the camera department just because it's packing a respectable 8 megapixel autofocus camera with Carl Zeiss optics and f2.2 lens and dual LED flash, so it's quite capable of taking some nice looking shots. And that's what we find with uh, it, the photos that it takes in general. Outdoor shots with plenty of lighting, of course, it's going to come out pretty decent, more than usable. It might be lacking some fine details, but you still get some neutral looking colors. Uh, low lighting conditions, it still also managed to excel and manages to uh, um, exhibit some decent decent looking details. There might be a little bit of noise, but it's not that bad. The LED flash does a good job, but we definitely notice a little bit of vignetting going on with its effect. Sure, it might not be perfect, but it's 1080p high definition video recording is still tolerable enough for most people. Now, the only distracting elements about it is that it doesn't feature the image st stabilization found with the Lumia 920, so it does come off rather shaky. There is uh, also some noticeable evidence of artifacting when you're panning very quickly, and details are definitely on the dull side, but hey, it still looks nice overall. Uh, the last thing to mention is, is that it does offer continuous autofocus, but it's rather slow to adjust. Overall, call quality is pretty good on the handset with one exception that's found with the speakerphone setting it to its loudest setting. It does tend to sound a little bit on the sharp side, so a little bit irritating. On top of that, some noticeable muffling going on with the earpiece. Voices are pronounced distinctive and clear, and it's the same thing we experience, our callers experience on their end of the line. Testing it out in high coverage areas, we didn't experience any uh, major fluctuations with the handset's signal strength, nor did it drop any phone calls. Additionally, it's 1800 milliamp hour battery is able to provide us an average battery life as a whole. We're able to get at least a solid day with our normal usage. No question about it, the Lumia A10 for T-Mobile is being overshadowed by the Lumia 920 over an AT&T just because that device is a lot more flashy, stylish, and also has beefier specs, but you're still getting a decent entry-level model with this one here. Now, we can overlook the fact that it's sporting one very bland and boring design, but aside from that, it's the same exact Windows Phone 8 experience you'll find on the Lumia 920. It also comes included with uh, Nokia's usual set of applications to really enhance the software compared to some of the other handset makers out there. On top of that, even though it doesn't feature a peer view camera in the rear, it still manages to take some nice looking photos and videos. And you know, its specs are modest, so it's not going to really break the bank for you. So if you'd like to learn more about the Nokia Lumia A10 for T-Mobile, guys, you can check our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.